This interview is for information only and should not be considered as investment advice or a recommendation to buy shares in the company featured. Welcome to this stock box interview. Joining us today is David Lenegas, the Executive Chairman of Vinance PLC. Thank you very much for your time as always. David, how are you doing? Mark, I'm doing really good. Bitcoin's at 66,000 and I'm looking at all the charts. I think it's ready for the breakout. Sometime in the next uh, week or two, I think we're going to see Bitcoin starting to uh, to really move. Um, you know, if you look at the historic uh, performances post halvings, you end up with a period of consolidation. We're, we're being through that. And if it can break through 67,000, in, in my view, I think we're on for, for, for the big run. And that's Bitcoin at between 8 and 20x. So, you know, I'm in the Bitcoin million dollar club and, um, and I'm pretty optimistic about where this is going. So, yeah, okay. we're, we're quite excited. And what does well, finance do? We just mine Bitcoin. Yeah, you just really mine Bitcoin. Keep it simple, stupid. When we talk about that in a moment, just let's talk a little bit about that Bitcoin price then. I mean, what are you sort of, well, how come you're making that kind of confidence? How come you're seeing that kind of, is it, is it technical based? Is it, it's uh, just technical based? in history. I mean, it, it, every time you go through the harvey, you get a consolidation, you get a bit of a down drip. Uh, and after about sort of three, four months, you, you know, the, the market readjusts itself. The, the people who mine Bitcoin, the people who buy Bitcoin, um, and historically, you know, post halvings, between halvings, you get between eight and 20, 20 x on the Bitcoin price. Okay. Okay. So okay. you know we're we're ready in our view for the for the next move, and and September is usually a fairly quiet. August September is usually pretty quiet um, and and quite negative for for Bitcoin, but I, I we can see it starting to move. Yeah. Yeah, indeed, indeed. So yeah, you're seeing it on sort of the verge of a, of a breakout. Then okay, that's uh, that's that's good to well, get. Well, and, and the interesting thing is, I think the breakout's going to be a lot bigger than history. You know, has had it in the halvings because you know it, the fiat world can now buy crypto through Bitcoin, through the ETFs in America and Hong yeah, Kong and yeah, Australia, yeah, 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 and yeah, and sure. so on, so forth. So I think it's it's going to be a really bullish run. I mean, some people are calling Bitcoin still between here and the end of the year at three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. I mean, that's that's a six x. Yeah, from now until the end of the year. Okay. Yeah, and the end of the year is not that far away. But but when it moves. It's going to really move, and we want to be well positioned. That's mm. why we raise the money so we can increase our mining fleet in North America. Well, yeah, I know North America is your uh, your 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 jurisdiction of choice there, and of course uh, the U.S. elections in November and Trump, if he gets in, uh, extremely. You know uh, what? I, I actually think it's even if Kamala Harris gets in, I actually think she's even more positive for Bitcoin. What really? I don't want to see is 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 everybody pricing in a Trump win because he might not win. And, and, and the good thing about Bitcoin is Bitcoin transcends governments. You know, if you look at you know, the US dollar, the GBP, the yen, they're basically Ponzi schemes. They're, the, the world's full of debt. Bitcoin is finite. It's the only currency in the world in mankind's history that has a fixed number of units. Mm. The rest of the world's currency, they can just print it and go into more debt. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. What is it? It's a promissory note on what? And that's why I think, you know, irrespective of politics, whether it's Trump or Kamala Harris, you know, Bitcoin has its own place in the world. Yeah. Well, we're seeing a lot more of this, aren't we, at the moment in the sort of the news and uh, people generally talking about the state of government affairs here and, and debt, as you say. And uh, yeah, what, well, how on uh, earth is America going to pay thirty-five <laughs> trillion dollars worth of debt? You know, how on earth is Britain going to pay back you know two and a half trillion pounds worth of debt? It's crazy. I mean, the economy, their economies aren't that big, mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. and uh, and interest rates are hurting. So you know. This is why why Bitcoin's becoming really interesting for a lot of people. I like Bitcoin. I mean, today I, I looked at my wallet and I've got 0.72 of a Bitcoin. By the end of okay. next week, I want to have a whole Bitcoin in my <laughs> own name because to me, you know, there are some really smart people in America calling Bitcoin between here and 2030 at, you know, somewhere in the 10 to $13 million mark. So I'm in the business of not only mining Bitcoin through finance and giving people the exposure to the Bitcoin market through Binance, um, 
limited the company. But yeah, I want Bitcoin myself. I mean, to me, yeah. that's inheritance for the kids. I've never, yeah, we've never talked about that. So you own 0.75, did you say? And you 0.72 want to get to Bitcoin 0.72. right now. Um, and you want to get to one, well, one whole Bitcoin. One by the end of next week. Absolutely. Okay. Well, Revolut done. is a fantastic banking app that has, um, oh, yeah, yeah. That, that, has uh, that has a crypto capacity in it. And, yeah. um, you know, there's eight and a half million Brits who now have Revolut. And, uh, and it's fantastic. Yeah. So, um, mm-hmm. you know, that's where my Bitcoin wallet is, Revolut. Well, it's it's, good. it's interesting what you say as well because in a lot of people who are who are into gold, you know, who buy the physical, but also then buy the miners, so they actually own part of the company that's actually mining the gold that they then ultimately own. Multiple that's, exposure and multiple fronts. Yeah. Okay. And Let's that's talk what about, we're offering shareholders well, who want to look at at finance. Is you know, we're we're fairly unashamedly a Bitcoin miner that just wants to mine as many Bitcoin as we can and yeah. be accumulating bitcoin for the run well let's talk a little bit about we'll have so many bitcoin within the wallet that you know will be hopefully a dividend paying stock and paying people either in in fiat or in crypto by way of a dividend really that would be the uh, that's the plan that's if we last long enough without getting a takeover (laughs) okay yeah that's what we're building it for we're building finance to become so attractive that someone in north america says i like what these guys have done i'm going to buy them Okay. Well, how are you going to do that? I mean, you raised six hundred and eight thousand pounds just, uh, just. Okay. So, so we have we have about six hundred Bitcoin miners right now. So the plan is to get to a thousand by the end of the year. Um, okay. We've got a number of, of routes to potentially do that. Okay. Uh, let's see how we go with that plan, and uh, and five to ten thousand by the end of next year. That's that's the ultimate goal. Okay. You know, whether it's um, debt expansion capital, whatever, but yeah. That's the plan, is just to have as many Bitcoin miners spinning in North America, which is the preferred home for us, for our for our Bitcoin yeah. miners and our computers and our technology and our wallets, um, purely on a jurisdictional safety perspective, and uh, and build a business that way. And in terms of building out those miners into 1,000 by the end of the year and then looking to perhaps five to 10 throughout next year, would you look to reinvest the the, 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 the spoils of the mining or you potentially? Okay, now we're back into reinvesting more into more machines. That's how you, that's how yeah, you reinvest. Okay. okay. No debt. No, correct. We have no debt. And right now we want to keep it that way for as far as we can. We Every now and again, we sort of scratch our heads and go, let's get some leverage and get some more miners. But I think yeah, debt's killed a lot of people in this yeah. business. Look at Argo blockchain. We don't want to sort of repeat the same yeah. sins. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, do you have a target of sort of Bitcoin per day that you'd like to get to at some point? I know it will always be changing as you increase miners. What What was that question again, Mark? Just w- w- Would you have a target of Bitcoin per day? <sighs> Look, it's, it's all complicated. The higher it goes, the more difficult it is to mine a Bitcoin. I mean, um, you know, Argo's mining one coin every day of it so what you know, their debt's killing them um everybody's got a different model i just want to stay debt free and just be mining bitcoin i don't okay. care if we mine a bitcoin every day two three or ten so long as we're debt free and okay. the bitcoin goes to where we think it's going to go which is into the hundreds of thousands and millions of dollars a coin okay okay good and there was a research note out the other day wasn't there uh, from clear, clear capital put a research note up on their website calling the stock 12 month target to one pound 50 up 1100 and something percent so <laughs> yeah there's a lot of really good research work into that so I, I i'd encourage people who are who are seeing this video uh interview to go and sort of search out clear capital markets website and have a look at the research note um yeah i'm going know, to have a look at it myself and and that gives us the target to push for but yeah we've also had a research note out in new york a couple of weeks ago calling the stock to three dollars okay uh, on the on the US stock, which is V I N Z F, or as they call it, V I N Z F. Um, so yeah, there's a big push now to sort of, you know, analysts are sort of seeing the potential of what Binance could go to, and now it's management's role to try and get it to there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you very much. I'm going to go away and read those research notes, and then perhaps come back with some of the points from there and question you on, yeah, how you can achieve those those price targets. But thank you very much, David Den the chairman of Binance PLC, for your time today. Great. Thanks, Mark. If you enjoyed this interview, then give us a thumbs up, a like or a retweet. 
subscribe to us on YouTube or follow us on Twitter and hit that notification bell to be the first to know when we release new content. There's loads of great content on our website too, across all our programs at stockboxmedia.com. Thank you for watching.